What's up guys and welcome to Tan Tennis channel. In this review, it's on the Bubble Lab PL Arrow 98. And I'm so excited for this review because we see at least three of the top 10 players play with this racket. I mean, um, not this exact racket, but the previous version, um, the Bubble Lab PL Arrow VS that came out in 2020. And I don't really know if they actually switch to this racket or just you know, changing the paint job, probably the latter. Anyway, among the threes, there is uh, the current world number one, Carlos Alcaraz. I like this guy a lot on his aggressive game style. The second one is uh, Felix Archer Aliasim, uh, current ranks number six in the world. And lastly, uh, Holger Rune, now ranked number 10. He also uses his racket. I think Bubble Light is really on the rise because if we count Nadal, who used the Pure Arrow Rafa, that's four of the top 10 players or 40%. That's crazy, right? And all of those rackets are in the Pure Arrow line. So yeah, I'm not surprised if the sale of this new version is going through the roof. Okay, before we go to the playtest, please make sure you subscribe and like my videos so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you. The paint job looks exactly like the PL Arrow 100, except the 98 number here. There is no spec coming out yet, but this is all I can find. The head size is 98 square inches, a static weight of 305 gram, string pattern, 16 by 20, same as the PL Arrow VS, unknown strong weight, string weight, balance, stiffness, etc. etc. If you guys haven't watched my review on the PL Arrow 100 2023, please follow the link above. If you don't want to go, let me sum it up real quick. Mostly negative comments, and I prefer the PL Arrow Banana and Rafa more than the new one, mainly because on the new one, I think they try to make the frame more flexible, and that reduces spin and power, which is the key highlights of the PL Arrow, right? I think it's the in-between and I want it to go all the way like they did before. I mean, after all the effort, the frame is still not that soft and if you need to generate the same amount of topspin as you do on the Rafa, it requires more input and I feel like myself overworking my forehand and that results in a bit discomfort. Okay, for this PL Arrow 98, on the first touch, what I can feel is that is head heavier than my Blade 98 and ESO 98. I feel like I need more time to prepare and set up my forehand to let the racket head drop with bigger take back. I can't just whip it like other head light control frames. On the ground strokes, this thing play differently than the 100. It's definitely the control frame. It feels solid and a bit stiff, but not that much though. I feel like the stiffness is probably around 64 to 65. The racket has decent amount of power, but not much. Like you need to work on it to generate the power. The spin is good, definitely more than Blade 98, and probably just a bit more than ESO 98. What I don't like on this racket is the forgiveness. I think the sweet spot is really small, and it's smaller than other 98 square inches rackets and the power and the feel on and off sweet spot is totally different i mean if you didn't hit the sweet spot the power drops significantly and the racket feels very harsh on the arms but if you hit on the sweet spot it feels great also i think the sweet spot locates a bit to uh, the head of the racket more than the blade and the ESO 98 I might be wrong on this, but that's just my feeling because I need to adjust my contact point for like 5 minutes as I shan a lot early on. What impressed me is when you hit topspin high angle ball, it almost always land in the line. So in defense and running shots, I need to adjust my game a bit to go with the high topspin ball instead of just whipping it back like the blade can do. On the volleys, I think this racket is probably the worst one I have hit with so far. 
The problem is still the same as ground strokes, which is the forgiveness and the small sweet swap. It made the volleys very unpredictable, like you can go 100% power or 20% power. There's no compromises in the middle. So yeah, I'm not a fan of the net. On the serve, nothing stands out. So so power, ball placement is okay, nothing to complain as well. Second serve is fine. The return is good, just need to prepare well. I win deep down the middle. Approach shot is great, feel all the confidence on the attack. And again, not sure about the volley, but that went well. Uh, I feel confidence on my backhand, like it has enough power. And the angle is pretty good, that goes short angle. And bam, jumping forehand and he can return it back. Damn, I thought that was gonna be a winner. Okay, who's this racket for? I would say advanced player. I think this racket is very decent, uh, especially on the attack. It really shines. But you need precision and consistent in your shots because the racket has low forgiveness. On the defense, not so good. But you can always go with the moon balls, but it's just not my style. Thank you for watching.